Welcome to the Wrestling Vlogger Zone. Today what we have for you is a review on another DVD. This was a documentary. Um, it is called The Price of Fame. It is, I can't remember if it's the Ted DiBiase story or it's The Price of Fame. And it's about, I know it's about Ted DiBiase, but I can't remember if it's The Price of Fame or The Price of Fame, the Ted DiBiase story. But either way, um, this documentary was put out in 2017. I don't believe it was put out by WWE either. It was put out by another company. I believe so. And this documentary is really great. You know, it kind of follows um, Ted DiBiase Jr. Kind of follows his little story going back into going to visit uh, it talks about his little story and his mishaps and going to visit, he goes to visit his dad, Ted DiBiase. Um, and then, and then the story goes into Ted DiBiase talks about his father, Ted DiBiase and kind of him getting into wrestling. But it was, it was mainly a factor on, um, you know, the story of, Ted DiBiase, Ted DiBiase's father, and how great of a man he was, and he was a man that was in the wrestling business, that he never touched drugs or alcohol, never got in it to any of that bad stuff whatsoever, and he always kind of held that pride and true, and and tried to hold that to Ted DiBiase, his son, and basically keep him away from that and raise him like that. And Ted DiBiase's father, Ted DiBiase, uh, he was a, a unfortunate story of wrestling that he actually had died in the ring. He had a, I believe they said he had a heart attack. What his cause of death was was a heart attack that he had had and it's it was really unfortunate and it was almost heartbreaking um because terry funk was also in this documentary and terry funk was wrestling his younger days of wrestling was around the the days of wrestling of the original ted dibiase and it was you know almost heartbreaking of um that they were talking about this was like during the territory days and stuff like that. Terry Funk talked about this, about his death and how it happened and everything like that. And he said that, you know, it was unfortunate. He kind of like almost blamed himself a little bit because um, that night they had needed someone to wrestle. Um, Terry Funk said that his dad had said that he or told him that he needed to go to the I can't remember what company it was at the time, but he needed to go down there that they needed someone to wrestle. And he told his dad, he said, No, I've been on the road. Um, I'm not going down there. I'm not gonna wrestle. So they ended up calling upon Ted DiBiase, original Ted DiBiase, to do it. And um Ted DiBiase he said okay and you know he got his stuff together and had someone pick him up and went down and that was the last time that ted dibiase and his mom and everybody had saw him because that night in the ring he had a heart attack and um and you know that harley race tried to do um do cpr on him and everything like that Pulled him out of the ring, tried to do CPR on him and everything, but they weren't able to re to re revive him, and he ended up passing away. And, uh, you know, then Ted DiBiase talks about kind of how that, you know, hit him for a dark turn down the road that ended up, that that's when he ended up getting into some trouble here and there and doing stuff that his dad wouldn't have wanted him to do and everything like that. And that's when he ended up dropping out of, he went to college and he went for a couple semesters and then ended up dropping out and getting into pro wrestling. And his dad never wanted him to get into pro wrestling 
but he got into pro wrestling and um it all went from there and you know some of us may know that story some of us may not know so i'll touch a little bit on it that you know in the 90s especially like late 80s early 90s even late 90s that a lot of the wrestlers had drug problems alcohol problems but you can't blame them they're on the road 300 plus days a year trying to entertain us and they're hurt in their bodies. They're taking these bumps, these bruises, these injuries. And how else can they deal with it but yet with drugs and alcohol? And so, um, you know, it kind of gets into the story of Ted DiBiase and where he ended up getting into drugs and alcohol and stuff like that, which his dad, dad would not have liked at all, obviously and that when he cheated on his wife basically and that's when he found god and him and his wife reconciled and everything like that you know and the documentary it tells more but basically you know that's all the past now for those of you that do know ted dibiase um and hit somewhat of his story that he's now a pastor and you know, this is kind of a DVD highlighting that, um, his dark past and his son, when his son got into wrestling and had a dark past, that he got into alcohol and got in a wreck and stuff like that. And he ended up leaving WWE and everything because of that situation. And it just, overall, this documentary touches on that and the history of Ted DiBiase, his backstory, and to where he ended up becoming a preacher and it's just honestly this is a real nice documentary that gives you that backstory of someone that was in the wrestling business and had those drug and alcohol abuse problems that was able to overcome them and be in a better place and find god and be able to now be sitting on the right side versus the wrong side, um, you know, instead of being a druggie now, an alcoholic and everything. He is a really good man. Um, just take the time to watch the documentary. It's, I think, hour and a half, two hours, something like that. You can find it on Amazon Prime for free. You can find it on any of like the Google Play or the um, digital uh, platforms by renting or purchasing it if you want to you can also find it on DVD um, a lot of places that you can like I found mine my DVD copy at a secondhand DVD store local hand local secondhand DVD store um, I know that um, because the Dollar Tree has been getting in DVDs for a dollar over the last couple years and they have started getting some wrestling DVDs. I know a couple times that they actually had gotten this DVD, and so you would have been able to pick it up for a dollar, um, but just keep your eyes peeled for it. It's called The Price of Fame. It was from 2017, real good documentary. Take the time to watch it. I am, okay, let's get down to the rating scale. I am going to give this a three out of five hilarious real good documentary i would say um you know heartworm heartwarming story i wouldn't say the best documentary but definitely a good documentary to watch and just take the time to watch and be able to relive one of those legends careers and see how he changed his life so overall just take the chance to watch it if you can it's called the price of fame and it's like i said my scale three out of five lariats make sure you hit the like button subscribe hit that notification bell so you get those notifications when we post videos and they go live and make sure you stay safe during this pandemic time that's going on right now stay safe out there it's crazy around the world right now saying watch wrestling watch some wrestling documentaries watch some wrestling movies like choke slam the price of fame you will be able to find those all on digital platforms just stay safe go ahead and watch some of those documentaries or movies 
and stay and stay safe. You guys have a great day. This was a wrestling cool.